Hi guys, what's up? It's me, Simmingly Normal, and um, or Abby, if you prefer, and I am here with my first ever Let's Play. This is the first installment, and as you can see, this is our main character, Olivia Harrington. Um, this is probably going to be my first video ever, too, so please be nice to me. I'm still figuring everything out. I don't even have a microphone. I'm just using, like, my gaming computer's mic, I guess. And it works the best. Uh, like, it, I think it works better than these headphones I have, which have, which came with my computer. It's an MSI computer. And it came with the little, um, you pull out the microphone. Anyway, <laughs> that aside, welcome to my Let's Play, The Harrington Legacy. So this is actually going to be a city living Let's Play but not until I can actually get city living. It is currently Monday, um, October 31st, so I can't get it yet, but I will eventually get it, and then Olivia will move to San Myshuno and get an apartment and start a life on her own. Right now, she is a teenager, and I thought it would... I was just too excited. I really wanted to play this family, but I thought it would be cool if we played from when she was a teenager so you would get you would really get a feel on like her family life and what it what her life was like before she moved to the city so this is my sim she is going to be the founder of the harrington legacy her name is olivia harrington uh, she is a teenager and then if i go to her little her little what are they called traits we can see that she is a book a bookworm self-assured and a quick learner. Um, I made her self-assured because I want her to do the political career in um, in the civil city living, if I could talk, in the city living expansion pack, but right now I can't, obviously. I haven't actually played with the political career mod that's out, if you've seen that going around, but um, I'm excited. I really, really liked the political career in The Sims 3 because I liked the idea of being the mayor of a city. I thought that was a pretty cool addition. But anyway, this is Olivia. She does spell her name with an H on the end because she's hip like that. She did change it. Originally, there was no H, but she wanted to make sure that her name was kind of different, like people would remember her name. Um, she's definitely, as a teen, shy. She is a shy person. Even though she's, you know, confident in herself and all that, she's still not all that outgoing yet. She lives with her parents. She is an only child, which we'll get to her feelings about that later. She lives in this suburban home. I got it from the gallery. I don't remember who it's by, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, it's just a little gray suburban family home. Her parents are not hurting for money, as you can tell, because they have, you know, $186,000 plus you know, this $130,000 home with a pool in the back and all that. But yeah, this is where she lives currently. She lives with her mom and her dad. Her mom's name is Ariel. Um, I actually haven't decided if I'm going to say it, Ariel or Ariel. I think I might do Ariel. This is, this is just a great moment for her. She's just on the pot. <laughs> Sorry about that. But this is Ariel. Um, Ariel has some problems. She's not the greatest mother. Um, she definitely thinks that she is still a teenager because that's how she acts. She's, one of her traits is actually, oh, we got away from the house. <laughs> so I'll just tell her, tell you all her traits. Her traits are childish, jealous, materialistic, and muser. And then her aspiration is painter extraordinaire. She thinks she's good at a lot of things. She thinks she's good at painting. She thinks she's good at instruments. Her husband even bought her all of these instruments and um, made this little music room for her. So she would have somewhere to develop her talents. But she just doesn't have the knack for it. Um, and no one really has the guts to tell her because Ariel is someone who is very passionate and very outspoken and quite the opposite of her daughter. Um, she wants to be famous someday, but, you know, she's getting older. She's in her 40s, um, and it's really getting to her. Like, she's really getting scared that someday, you know, one day she's she's just going to get old and no one's going to remember her, and that is not what she wants. And then Jose, 
but just kidding. Josiah is her dad, is Olivia's dad, and he should be home any minute. He was out with the guys as he normally is, but he should be home soon. They went to a bar at like 9 a.m. so they could watch some kind of sports game. Not entirely sure, but that's just kind of how Josiah is. He isn't really around much. He's a good person. Like, don't think he's not a good dad. He tries to be the best dad he can be, but he just has some problems with, you know, actually being there for Olivia. Um, so I'll just zoom in on Josiah real quick. Let's pause the game and get over to him. He's like side-eyeing this guy like, uh, hello. So this is Josiah. Um, he is Mexican. Um, he is half Mexican and half white. His mother is full Mexican. So that, and then um, Olivia, I would make Olivia, because Arielle is white, you can tell. I would make Olivia um, a third Mexican, would it be? Yeah, a third Mexican. But um, this is Josiah. Oh, goodness. And his traits are active, geek, outgoing, and gregarious. And then his aspiration is party animal. Um, so they just moved to this town, and we're going to pretend like he got transferred for his job. Well, he did get transferred for his job, and he actually needs to put in his application so the transfer can get approved. Um, and he just works in the business career. Nothing too exciting. Um, actually... I was going to do business, but I think what would fit him better is tech guru because he's a geek. So he's actually going to do tech guru. So now he has a job. His application was approved, and now they're really settling in here. Ariel does not work. She's never worked a day in her life. All of their money comes from Ariel's family. Um, her, her mother was a duchess or a lady or something like that. And it really upped their family income. Um, but neither of them really pay attention to Olivia. So Olivia has kind of grown up on her own, not really doing too much because, well, she feels on her own. She begged and begged her parents for siblings for years and years, but they never actually ended up giving her one. So she's just kind of been on her own, doing her own thing. She actually has... A desire to hold on I just thought I'd do this real quick she actually has a desire to um, learn an instrument and she always has but her mother has completely refused she has this kind of weird idea that if Olivia gets good enough at it no one will pay attention to Ariel which is just ridiculous because it's your child and you should you know always keep your child's priorities first but people don't really her parents don't really do that so let's go and now that you've kind of gotten a backstory let's kind of focus in on olivia here i might call her ollie sometimes i haven't decided if i should call her like oh or just keep it at olivia we'll see how it goes but her aspiration i don't think i mentioned is nerd brain well is it nerd brain or is it yeah, it is. Okay. So she wants to finish reading three books and achieve level three logic skills. So right now we're just going to kind of play through, um, help us get to know all of our characters first. I'm not sure where. Okay. And then Josiah is apparently over here. Um, Josiah tries to be a manly man, but, you know, he goes out with the guys all the time and all that, but he's really not. He's kind of a weakling. Um, and Ariel kind of, you know, isn't the biggest fan of that and always encourages him to like, get in shape because he's got kind of a dad bod. But that's okay because, um, you know, dad bods are cute. So we're actually going to have Olivia come to her bedroom over here and have her read a book. Um, let's have her read... How about, let's do Untamed Treachery of the Heart. Except maybe, let's do the Glutton Spiel. Spiel? 
Lunchspiel. Okay, so we just moved to the neighborhood, and apparently we have a welcome wagon in. So Ariel is, of course, a great fan of parties of any kind, any get-togethers. And it looks like it's ladies, so we're going to have her come downstairs and let the neighbors in. I'm not sure why it's not letting me. There it goes. So we're going to come invite the neighbor neighbors in. I'm not entirely sure who our neighbors are. Is it just challenge? Oh, that's Jasmine Holiday. Just kidding. Oh, Liberty is our neighbor. And then Travis, I think is his name. I actually have a soft spot for Travis. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's just like his little goofy personality. But I think he's super cute. I like him. And I actually haven't done this Day of the Dead challenge yet. We might do that in this LP, but maybe not because we're going to be moving to city living pretty soon. So Ariel is going to come downstairs. As you can tell from her outfits, even, she still feels like she's kind of, you know, a teenager. She doesn't really feel like she should have to wear old, frumpy, middle-aged clothing. Um, and all of her friends are kind of young adults and so let's greet our new neighbors. Let's see. Thank her for coming. And then we're going to have Josiah talk to Travis. Because he's always looking for new people to hang out with. It's not letting me click on him. It. It's lagging a little bit. All right, there we go. He's going to talk. All right, so the adults are kind of doing their own thing. So let's go check on Olivia. She's sitting in it. Sit. I can't talk. She is sitting <laughs> in her little bean bag. Uh, yes, this is custom content. I really don't remember where it's from. You can just search, you know, the, you know, bean bag, and it should come up pretty quickly wherever you happen to look for your CC. Um, this is Olivia's bedroom. It does have not really an attached bathroom, but the bathroom is, like, right next door. Um, she has a bookcase because... She is a bookworm, um, and her bed is very, or not her bed, but her room is very pink and purple. Um, she's not really a girly girl or a tomboy, but I think I would say that she leans more toward girly girl than tomboy. She has a lot of posters on her wall. I tried to really personify her room because I feel like when she moved in here, um, she felt like, you know, moving into a new city, into a new house. It really hit her hard, and she doesn't have any friends yet, and so she worked hard to make her room actually feel like home. Um, and Ariel is actually, oh, look at this. Ariel came into her room to talk to her. She's eating microwave pastry, vegetarian safe. Okay. <laughs> so Ariel came to, into her room. I think she wants to talk to Olivia, and basically she's going to be like, the neighbors are here. She's going to share her insecurities. And basically she's like, you know, what if these new neighbors don't like me and I'm a good person and they should like me? And Olivia's like, oh, hello. Um, now you're in my bedroom. Cool. I'm just going to keep reading awkwardly. Ariel feels kind of weird. She's like, oh, this is my daughter's bedroom. This is my daughter. It's okay. It's fine. Um, but... See, it's kind of weird because Ariel is up here trying to bond with her daughter, but not really bond, just kind of trying to be like her. Um, see, you can tell the awkward tension. Nobody's really talking. Um, Olivia's just kind of ignoring them both. Um, and here comes Josiah, who needs to use the restroom, I guess. Yep. All right. Cool. <laughs> okay, so let's see. This part, I really wanted it to just be like an introduction to The Sims, to their lives, and mostly to Olivia. Olivia's not that interesting yet, but definitely she will be. We need to work on her personality, you know, really flesh out her character. I wanted to really get some backstory in before she moved to City Living, so she would have some, you know, some, well, backstory. <laughs> so we're going to have her go use the restroom. She is definitely more of a self-care kind of person. I don't know where she's... Oh, okay, she went to go put up the book, I guess. 
um, she kind of just, she's always learned to take care of herself um, to make sure that she has everything taken care of. We're going to have her come downstairs. Her dad is grilling, so she's going to, let's see, let's have her sit right here downstairs and do her homework. I like that Josiah is grilling. He really tries his very best to be a good dad. But he kind of lets himself get walked over, you know, walked all over. So it can be kind of difficult for their family to get along just because they all have such ranging personalities and everybody's different. And okay, so don't cook anything. Your dad just cooked hot dogs. So Josiah's like, Josiah is like, okay, Olivia, I just made something. So come eat hot dogs with the neighbors, please. All right. Put it on the ground. Very good. Oh, okay. We can make that later or something. I don't know. She's going to grab a serving of hot dogs. Um, let's just call everybody to meal. Ariel just ate, so I doubt. Nope, she's gonna eat again. Okay. To seem normal, we've got this lady over here who is apparently sampling all of my custom content at once. But she looks, she looks nice. Very nice. <laughs> Her name is Vivian, which is a very pretty name. So everybody's just going to kind of sit at the table here and eat their hot dogs. Olivia definitely always feels awkward in these kind of situations. She's definitely an introvert. Everybody thinking about these hot dogs, man. They must be good. I personally don't like hot dogs, but... I think it's just because as a kid, or not as a kid, but just when my sister used to eat hot dogs all the time, I had to rinse out the, the container we kept it in with all the juice, and it just grossed me out so much. So I just can't. The smell of hot dogs just repulses me at this point. But <laughs> anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, so Olivia is trying to fit in here. My game is lagging. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Just gonna give it a second. Give it a second. And nope. Okay. All right. There it goes. Okay. So we're good. Continuing. <laughs> She's just gonna. Okay. I don't know what happened, but something happened. And so we don't like him. So we're not gonna talk to him. But let's talk to this summer holiday girl. She seems nice. Um, a lot of her mom's friends can be kind of mean just because they feel like, you know, Ariel acts that way towards Olivia, so, you know, it must be okay for them to act that way towards her, and Ari, Ari doesn't really stop them because she, she doesn't want to seem, you know, like a weird friend. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't want to be the mom friend, especially since all of her friends are younger than her. She definitely wants to seem like a cool young person, even though she's in her 40s with a teenager who is going to be 18 in just, you know, a couple of weeks, in fact. Um, and Olivia has actually been counting down the days because she has heard of this new city called San Myshuno. Wow, I said that so weird. San Myshuno, and she is so excited. She, she has heard about how it's so culturally diverse, and she's never really excited experienced like the cultural side of herself her her dad and her dad's mom are estranged so they don't talk anymore so she's never really experienced the mexican side of her culture her personality her you know just any of that okay so apparently that's over and they're all leave now which is fine because it's like eight o'clock so Ariel is uncomfortable because she has jealous pain. So Ariel is not too happy with Josiah. So she's going to kind of complain about her problems. And then he's not going to take that well. He never does because he's probably the only person that really will take her crap to a certain point, And then he's like, he just tunes her out, ignores her, completely ignores her, and it drives Ariel nuts. Sorry, I had to get some water. 
So here's Ariel just kind of yelling at him. He's like, whoa, 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 honey. Look, this chick is still in our house. You're kind of embarrassing me. And she's like, embarrassing you? And so now they're upset with each other. And Summer's like, yeah, I think it's, I think it's time to go. I think, I think I need to leave. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. I would be like, uh, bye. So... Ariel is going to load her own plate, but not anybody else's apparently. So Olivia is actually the one who usually has to do that. So she is going to hey, stop that. Come downstairs and clean up all the dishes and put away this and yeah. Ariel and Josiah. Josiah wants to make up with Ariel, and usually that's what happens is they, you know, their romance is definitely a lot more, I don't know how to explain it, but they're definitely more romantic partners than they are friends, as you can tell from their relationship bars. But Josiah wants to patch things up by kissing her and being like, you know what, it's okay that you're crazy. Um, I still love you. And she's like, yeah, whatever. You know, she knows it's going to happen again, so what does she care? And Olivia is just going to pick up all the plates and load the dishwasher again. Oh, and of course, Ariel left her plate in Olivia's bedroom. And Olivia just kind of expects that now from her mother. Like, she knows that her mother doesn't really care about what she does and who she is and any of that. She's, she needs to keep cleaning up these plates. Is it not like... I don't know what's going on there, so I'm just going to kind of take care of that myself. But yeah, so that's kind of what their family situation is like. I definitely feel like it's all going to come, it's all going to explode pretty quickly. Like, things of bad feelings have been brewing for a while now, and everybody is just kind of feeling on edge. So I definitely feel like I cannot get this plate in the sink. <laughs> Okay, all right, okay, we're gonna put it there and then try again. that. Okay, there we go. Um, things are about to get serious. Um, Olivia is not happy with how her life is turning out. She's not happy with how people are treating her. She, she does not let people walk over her. Um, well, I guess she does, but she's about ready to fight back. So Ariel is going to, let's see, she's going to come play the, the piano because she's trying to teach herself how, and she's really bad, but she's trying to teach herself. Um, I'm going to have Olivia claim her bed, and then she is going to sit at the counter in the kitchen and do her homework. At least I hope so. Claim the bed. Does she have to go upstairs to do that? Yeah, she does. Okay. Don't worry about it then. Just sit down and do your homework. She needs to finish her homework before she goes to bed because she has school tomorrow. Yeah, she is gonna go sit at the table, I guess. <laughs> I mean whatever works for you. Um and of course Josiah is preoccupied with thinking about kissing Ariel, who has not appeared yet. She is still working on leaving with the girl. Girl, same. <laughs> okay, so Ariel is leaving the computer, going downstairs to go practice the piano. Josiah is watching TV. When is he not, honestly? Um, Josiah is definitely... I wish they had brought the couch potato trait from Sims 3 into The Sims 4. I think that would that would have been so much... <laughs> <laughs> All right, that would have been so cool because that was one of my favorite traits. But I guess slob is kind of the same thing. But Josiah doesn't have either of those traits. He's actually the he's the opposite. He's active. He just really likes sports and TV. And, you know, he's also a geek, so he likes watching TV. But he's going to go to bed. Um, usually he likes to go out with the guys, but tonight he knows that 
things are kind of tense right now. Everybody's hanging out in different rooms, but when are they not? So he went to bed. Um, Olivia's about halfway done with her homework. And then if we go and listen, as you can tell, Ariel has just, is not that good. As a kid, she showed promise, but she lost the talent because she stopped playing once she became a teenager and got into the wrong crowds and all that kind of stuff. So she stopped playing and now she is trying to relearn and she's finding that it's a lot harder than she remembers. But she's kind of just doing her, doing her own thing. She does not have a job. She's not planning on getting a job. She's just kind of living off of her husband. And he's fine with that. Josiah likes that he provides for his family. Um, he's having to start all over in a new town, but they definitely have enough money to keep going until he gets to a place of where, you know, he's making a lot more money. Olivia, I don't know, she knows she only has a couple more days in this house, and she has saved up about, she worked hard at a job and saved up about $20,000. But something that happened just a couple months ago that really started the spiral of her counting down the days until she could leave was actually her mother stole the money and used it to pay for a trip to Hollywood for a movie that she got scripted for. And then it turned out that it was a scam. And yeah, they took all that $20,000 and Olivia was devastated. She didn't talk to her mom for weeks, and even when she did, it was cold, and she just wanted nothing to do with Ariel because she had done that to her. But now they're kind of talking again. Um, Olivia actually has some, she has some money now, about 5000 to $7,000, something like that, and her dad actually took her aside at one point and told her, that when she actually decides to move out in several years, he hopes, um, he will actually help her um, buy an apartment. Because he knows about her dream of moving to San Myshino. My Dang it, I can't say that. San Myshino. He knows her dream. But he also knows, he, well, he doesn't know when she's planning on moving. He doesn't realize that it's going to be the day she turns 18 is when she's moving. So uh, now that she's done with that, she really needs to go get some sleep. So let's go upstairs and tell her to go to bed. Like that. And then she needs to go to sleep too. So we're going to put everyone to bed now. And yeah, so that's going to be the end of this part. I hope you guys enjoyed getting a look into what our Sims are like. Kind of what who they are as people and all that good stuff what the what to expect from this legacy challenge and i hope you guys are excited as i am for olivia to move to san myshuno for the city living let's play part of this legacy it's going to happen in just a couple of parts after you know i actually get the game and everything like that but i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye guys